Okay, so this is the latest build uh, of Windows 10 by Amir Dahan, and uh, this is a very good one. Uh, there's still lots of things that aren't supported on Windows 10, um, so we still don't have Ethernet support, we still don't have USB support, and uh, no onboard Wi Fi, no onboard Bluetooth. Uh, lots of things aren't working, but what he's done is he runs uh, the Windows ISO through a program and he strips out various different things so he puts it down to a bare minimum. Now I've installed a few things on here but uh, he keeps it really really light and as a result of that even on an SD card uh, this is on just the ordinary 4 gig Pi. Windows still only supports 1 gig of RAM but what Amir's done is he's made it that it uses a lot less memory um, so when things are running it's uh, it's using a tiny amount of memory the CPU usage is very low and uh, it's just it's just super quick uh, considering this is running from an SD card it's not overclocked uh, it is really nice to use if I call up something uh, like there you go settings just to flick through just to show you what it what it works like so if I go to Bluetooth devices so you can see I can I can flick through and and it goes through the settings and it really doesn't seem to slow down. Now I haven't introduced the internet uh, today on this build uh, and part of that is because I have to use a USB ethernet adapter which does seem to suck a bit too much power out. I'm just using, this is my configuration uh, and so I've got power going into this on the go adapter. I've got an Xbox 360 wired controller. I've got my mouse and keyboard. I've got my uh, USB sound card because the ordinary onboard sound isn't supported and that's going through a speaker. There's no power issues with this configuration and because of that it does seem to run really well. Uh, so if I call up, uh, I mean this is a NES emulator, I've, I've found that there's a lot of apps that I can't launch and I, and I go to launch them and they, it comes up with an error saying this won't run on this system. But, uh, but this NES emulator runs fine. So if I call up a game grab my controller you can see that this runs pretty well uh, it runs even smoother without sound uh, and the sound at the moment comes up as Raspberry Pi 3 and that's I think why it doesn't work and that's why I've got this USB adapter plugged in but yeah you can see that this runs alright it looks pretty decent Remember this is Windows on ARM, uh, so it's emulating all of this because this is a, an old x86 program, um, but it's doing it well. So if I pause that, uh, well let's close that down. So with files we can flick through our different folders and things and everything seems to move pretty snappy. Uh, if I go to documents and double click on this video file, this is a 108060 file. Uh, and it actually runs pretty well. So if I get it more into the file. You can see, video playback, sound, can't play too much of that, but very, very good. So if I click on Edge. If you check out the Discord, uh, and I'll put a link in the description, but Amir works really hard on, uh, and also loads of others uh, are helping him do various different things to the Windows install and sort of working out, ironing things out. Uh, we still need a load of work on things like USB support and uh, and supporting the full RAM. So the web browser actually works pretty well and uh, it's pretty responsive. So if I was to click on something, you can see that the page comes up. And again, remember this is coming through Bluetooth uh, on my phone. So it's pretty impressive how, how quickly this is loading up. The Windows Store works as well. So you can see I can I can scroll through the Windows Store and have a look and see what's available there. Now obviously a lot of things aren't going to load on here, although I did try, if you look through my other Windows WR videos, I've had iTunes working, I've had Spotify working, I've had all sorts of things working through it. Uh, and, uh, and it is impressive uh, and it's being worked on all the time and I've just seen on the Discord that um, Amir's working on build 0.2.2 because uh, he reckons he's found gold. So. So Windows 10 on the Pi is looking pretty good really. There you go, so I can scroll up and down in the store and you can see that that's working pretty well if I was to click on an app.
it tends to do it in a reasonable speed. Again, it's better if I use my Ethernet connection, but the trouble is if I use my Ethernet connection, I'm taking more power and I'm trying to do this without doing the two power adapter thing that I did a couple of videos ago. There you go, so you can see that page has come up. Okay, so thanks to everybody's hard work. Uh, it's, uh, it's coming along nicely and Amir for doing, uh, well, he tries out builds all the time. So if you head over to the Discord, there'll be a download of probably a later version than this, even though this is in beta. Um, but, uh, but it's worth having a look at and it's worth a, worth a try. And if people know more about being able to get the USB drivers working and things like that, uh, the support would be greatly appreciated. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.